Hello everybody, it's Slushy and welcome to Go To Bed. So I know I haven't made a video in a little bit. I'm extremely tired right now, but I, I really wanted to get out another video. It's been forever. Uh, you might notice I'm sitting on a new thing. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on a couch right now. I got a little furniture change. I'm probably gonna be re rearranging my room here pretty soon. Uh, so this video might be a little bit unorthodox, mainly because I'm extremely tired, so I might mess up my words a little bit because I literally am running on two hours of sleep. Just barely got home from work. I'm dog tired, but the grind needs to continue. So let's get into it. Go to bed, which is exactly what I want to do, which is why I picked this game in the first place. Situation one, subject A, go to bed. Okay. I want you to let me move. Gotcha. That was easy. I didn't turn off the lights. No. Oh, shit. Should I have said yes? Probably should have said yes. Yeah, that was a stupid thing to do. Oh, God. Yes, let me try that again. Obviously, I feel on a desperate level. I should have said yes. You got it. Did I lock the front door? Yes, I did. I did it with my mind. I remember doing it. I vividly remember locking the front door. I did it. What? No, don't do it again. No, you can't. I locked the front door. Okay, we're gonna have to try a different route because this ain't working. This shit ain't working. Okay, so maybe we actually have to leave the room if that's a possibility. I haven't even turned around. I just kind of walked straight to the bed because that's what it says. Picture of a tree. <sighs> okay. Closed window. Oh my god, I see. So we should probably do something like lock the front door. Lock it. Yeah, we locked it. Good. Um Can we grab a weapon? Oh. Did I just put them in my pocket? Did I put a couple of knives in my pocket? That seems smart. Totally not gonna get us killed. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, got to arm the alarm, too. That's pretty crucial. Got to arm the alarm. Otherwise, what's the damn point of it all? Okay, that's about it, I think, right? Turn off the light. Where's the light? Where's the light switch? No light switch, another light switch. Okay, that literally didn't change at all. Okay, we're going to bed. I did everything this time. You can't get me, okay? I got it. I did every. I didn't turn off the light again. Unless I did it with my mind powers. I did. Why the hell would I open it up after what's happened the last couple of tries, dude? I'm not doing that. That's that's fucking stupid. Did you close the window? Yes! I did everything. I'm still not opening the window. That's even sketchier than the front door, dude. So, yep, I did that. I'm way ahead of you, bud. <laughs> Hide under the bed. Under the bed. Get under the bed. Yes, I hid the knives. Please get here in time. It sounds like you guys just went right by. Oh, now they're here. Okay, cool. Is it safe? Next situation. Okay. This is an interesting game. I kind of like it. It's become clear to me you're not supposed to just go to bed. The title's very deceiving. What was that? Okay, so we got to close the window, no doubt. That's a big step right there. Close the window. Lock the front door. Okay, what else is there? There's a TV. Let's go in here and make sure we hide the knives. Got to hide the knives. Got to hide the goddamn knives. Do we have to call the coffee pot, too? We Oh... We should probably hide. Honestly, we probably should hide the beer bottle because you could just break that and stab someone with it. What is this? 
Why is there a trap door in our house? Everything about that just seems wrong, man. Everything about it. Okay, as far as I'm aware, I got everything that makes any sort of sense. Do I need to hide the couch? I'll throw a trash bag over it. That'll do the trick. Yeah. That'll totally do the goddamn trick. I can't interact with literally anything except for the bed now. So I did everything. Intruder still ain't get in. I still hate the fact that that turns off by itself. Is the house secure? Yes. You're not getting in this motherfucker. Yeah. Good. Next. You know, that kind of had me worried for a second. I was kind of expecting that door to just randomly throw open all of a sudden. Go to bed. Huh? Where am I? Looks like some dingy basement. How did I get here? I'm gonna. S oh. That doesn't look like a very good bed. I'm not gonna lay down on the bed. That that looks disgusting. I'm I'm not doing that. I'm gonna get out of here. I need to leave now. Locked. Oh great, dead body. That sucks for you. There's a key. Why did it get quiet? Where's the body? Oh wait, it's at this door, right? Where's that one door? Yeah, here it is. Gotcha. I need to find a way out. It's shut. I should check for an alarm. Oh, shit. I can cut the wire with something. Yes, but I already hid the knives. Whoa. Bro. Oh my god, I'm playing as the intruder. Oh. oh, good god. What the fuck? Okay, I didn't expect this. What the heck? What do I do? Oh, what do I do? What am I supposed to do? I, I I hid the knives. No way, it's locked. It needs a code. There's no way out. Maybe back downstairs? I mean, I guess. The rolls, the tables have turned, my friend. The hunter has become the hunted. Dead. Okay, that was a hell of a game. That was a good game. I really did enjoy it. Short, to the point, sweet, pretty damn creepy in a way. Like, it didn't make me jump or nothing, make me jump or nothing, but it definitely had the vibes of something that, like, if it continued and you had a little bit of a less goofy jump scare where the guy's running at you with gangly arms, you know, maybe I'd actually be a little freaked out by it. But for what it is, it's pretty damn creepy. I've seen so many horror films but where it's based around a guy like sleeping in the basement. Tension building creepy, which is what this is. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like if you did, I'll see you guys next one. Bye-bye.